Uh, okay. Important topic number one, the enlightenment. The enlightenment was a period of time where people got enlightened. Um, basically, it was caused by um, John Locke's uh, new ideas of natural rights, like life, liberty, and it was either property or prosperity, I forgot. I think it's property. Property. It's property. Okay. And then the, the scientific revolution, which was uh, prior to this, it also contributed to, like, you know, logic and reasoning. And the effects were, was, like, new things like atheism, I think. And, you know, people um, began to think more logically and began to kind of question, like, religion's, like, power, I guess. And it led to revolutions and women's suffrage movements, as well as the abolition of slavery. But it didn't really, like, totally abolish slavery. It only really decreased it. Um, yeah, that's that's okay. Okay. Wait, random question. <laughs> what exactly were natural rights? Or like, what was the main prompt telling them that they couldn't be affected by? If you remember. I think it was like... Like... I know what natural rights were. They're like rights given to every human and how it should be. And they can't be, they can't be disturbed by the what? Government? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Okay. I, I, everyone, everyone give it up. Alright, up next we have Don Don. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> we got shoot. We got revolutions. Oh, 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 thank you. That that is not staying up, bro. <laughs> that is not staying up, bro. <laughs> All right, revolutions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Re revolutions. Ah, uh, revolutions. First, I'll start with the Enlightenment. Uh, the Enlightenment caused people in Europe to gain power because they advanced further than people like. India, like who likes India? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, they gained power through their technology, and this was because they weren't like China, which was under Confucianism, which is a religious belief, and they were able to industrialize faster, which Dylan will talk about. But anyways, they had a power trip, which made them think that they were better than everybody. They they colonized. They colonized a bunch of places like India and India and India. <laughs> uh, they stripped them of all their resources and uh, they, they did not like this. So they used nationalism to start revolutions. And some revolutions were, I have an example which was a reign of terror against like Napoleon and other leaders. I think. The French, the French Revolution. Oh, yeah, that's part of the French Revolution. That's not, that's not. It's not a French Revolution. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. It's just, it's just French, but that's a French Revolution, and this was the two higher, I think, voting parties. A state. A state. A state. Voting against a lower state to tax them even more every time they voted, mm -hmm. and they used nationalism to have a revolution and stop this for a decent amount of time. And the American Revolution was, like Dylan Chan said. After France and Britain had a war, uh, France was left poor, and they taxed America of all their tea. They had a Boston Tea Party. Britain, Britain, Britain was left poor. Britain was left poor. Britain? Britain, okay. You told me France, okay. Britain, France Britain, France Britain, France Britain, France Britain, France Britain. Okay, yeah. yeah. They taxed America. American Revolution, boom. That inspired the Haitian Revolution. A bunch of slaves were treated unfairly. Uh, yeah. And like, the, what was it called? The Maroon something? Were a bunch of, the Maroon Societies, a bunch of slaves were hiding in the woods and they were like unmonitored, they didn't care about them. I'm pretty sure. It's the opposite. Uh, I think that's about it. And uh, I drew the brown. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Um, explain in, explain what, is the, what was the reign of terror? Uh, they chopped people's heads off. Like all the... Specifically was who? it political lead? Wait. It was all the... Was it, was it political leaders? Like, like, 
for like like people people who are for the current government. Uh, yeah. Or they use guillotines, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the, ironically, the guy who created it got oh yeah killed by the guillotine. So how is it? Right. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Right. Everyone give everyone, 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 everyone a hand. Do, 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 do. <laughs> chant, chant. <laughs> that's, the, that's me. Oh, wait, I need a pointer. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, shoot, they're all on the floor. <laughs> yeah, wait. A little, little, little pause. Oh, you use a fry. I'm not using a fry. I shouldn't use much straw. Alright, so. Revolutions. So, the other important topic, we have the Industrial Revolution. Oh, my God. Great. <laughs> 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 right, so during the time of the current revolution going on right here, Britain realized Britain, Britain's placement of geography, like geographical placement, Ooh. led to them creating new technological advancements in terms of factory system. Factory system basically means all my all these goods are located in one spot, and Britain used this. Nice I, okay, so so and Britain Britain used this as a, <laughs> as a new. Economic as a new economic system that allowed them to prosper. The the industrial revolution also is classified as this, as basically this time of just massive technological, like massive new technological advancements and uh, uh, and, and a change in economy. And some of the some some examples of technology that emerged, that like emerged were the spinning jenny and the water wheel. The steam engine. Um, the industrial revolution. Oh yeah, the steam engine, like Jordan said. It's usually classified into two parts. One of them being the first industrial, the first industrial revolution, which is like a steam engine, you know, water mill, something like that. While the second industrial revolution is classified more as Scientific. chemicals, ind- internal combustion engines, and ele- electricity, like the telephone. Um, it had <laughs> it, it had massive effects on the social class with the emergence of the working and, and middle class, and it's also. <laughs> <laughs> this also led to the rise of labor unions as factory systems only focus on making money and they really focus on the people. So they so they thought that hey we need we need to do some reforms because this isn't fair to the people. So labor unions would result in, for example, minimum wage, eight, eight, eight hour eight hour work days. So we should probably be, we should be thankful for them in the future. Jump. And. The, one of the main things about the Industrial Revolution is that many other nations adopted this, adopted this except China, Japan, and the Ottoman Empire, who wanted to stick to the traditional ways. What about Russia? Uh, did Russia adopt it? I thought they were like China, they do. They wanted to industrialize later, but they like failed. I think they did later on, but yeah, I, I, what, what he said. They had a, like right. a railroad though, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. But yeah. I don't think they, they didn't necessarily industrialize fully. So mm. and this basically, mm. this kind of led to the downfall of the current empire. Downfall of the duty. I, I I think that's it. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> I have a Can question. you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I have a pause.